Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I am going on a motorcycle ride. Two day, well, it's three days, two nights, and uh, we're going up in the Sierras, the Sierra. And I am taking my trusty steed. Let me switch the camera around for you. Here it is. Now, this is a Honda CRF 250L. You guys have seen it maybe in a couple other things, but you've never seen it loaded like this. This bike is maxed out with my weight, and I've added 30 pounds to the back of it here. Hopefully it'll do fine. We're going to do some dirt roads. Uh, something called the California, the Northern California BDR. And uh, this thing does, it does really well. It's a really good little bike. It's got a few things on. I've got my, my comms up here. Also, I have comms in the helmet. I have the Carpew Ride. I have a video on that. This thing works excellent. Bigger tank, three gallon tank. It runs really good. Suspension's a little max. It needs some suspension work, but uh, I'm going to work on that. That's something I can do myself, some of it anyhow. And uh, yeah, so there's that side of the bike. The other side probably won't look as good because of the sun. But basically the same thing. So I'm going with a couple friends. Here's the deal one guy's on a motorcycle like I am. There's like two, maybe three, maybe four other vehicles, like Jeeps. I know there's two Jeeps. There's one guy that's got a, a badass Gladiator. I will definitely get some shots of that for you guys. Well, for now, I probably won't show you guys a whole lot of the, the beginning of the ride. Kind of boring. But once we get in the mountains, I'll click the camera on. This is my buddy Mike. I forgot he was coming here. But this is what I hope to get some, someday. I need to sell my Harley. Mike's a really good rider. He's he's got the Bigfoot sticker because the guy is huge. He's like 6'5. This bike is way bigger than it looks. Looks small with Mike on it. But he's got some new gear here. We're gonna try out. So uh, he's packed up also. We're about ready to leave. Oh, and one other thing, I did bring a radio, antenna, and coax. So we will make some contacts. We just left Murphy's. Now we're getting into one of the pretty areas here. Make sure I'm recording. I am. This is nice up here. It seems like it's getting cooler, Mike. It's 92 in Murphy's, guys. It's pretty warm. I, I think it's showing 100. Still showing 100? Yep. So we're figuring somewhere between 100 and 92. <laughs> 100 and 92. that one of our roads that we're going to take might be closed if uh, I don't know, we have to re-plan re, uh, the way we're going. Look at that guy putting the path on me there. Showing off. Well, it's 91 degrees now, Oh, it's 91. 91. We're getting cooler as we go up. That's good. It's supposed to be in the 80s, but... I guess not in the valley. We gotta go up and ride with Dork in the road, man. Yeah. He can show us some, some rides. Ah, we're making a turn here. This might be lunch. Still got enough time, Mike. Yep. The lube room. Going over here in the dirt. Oh, yeah, it's a shame. Looks like we're getting ready to turn off the dirt road. Oh, yeah, I think so. So, this was part of the BDR right here, right? Yeah. The road part this, of it. This road part of it. This part is not part of the BDR. Oh, it's this not? Is just 
the what we're on right now, the road. I just wanted to make sure we were legal. Street legal. Alright. Yep. I just saw the no motorcycle sign. So far this looks pretty easy. Alright, I'm behind you, Chuck, and Barrett's behind me. Alright. Oh, the front end feels a little loose. Oh, does it through the sand? Through the that's pretty gravelly. Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of weight on the front wheel right now. Plus highway pressures. So we're going to our first night camp here. I forget the name of it, but uh, it's like a cabin or something up here someplace. Bear trap cabin. I'm assuming this is where. Oh man, that shit's slick. Not a hard road, just very gravelly and slick. How's your front end feel? Mike, you still got me? I turned you down. I turned my radio down, but then I turned you down, I guess. How does your, uh, how's your front feel? My front tire feels like. Slippery. Slippery, yeah. I can feel my, uh, uh, my, oh, uh, uh, I can feel my, uh, yeah, steering wheel in the Really? Yep. I would assume this way, huh? It's a cool valley over here. Yeah, look at this valley, guys. It's really pretty. Probably really pretty in the wintertime. With, with, oh, well, with snow and without snow. Either. I'll tell you guys, it's the first time I've done off-road with 30 pounds or so on the back of my bike. It's definitely different. Um, my front end feels, especially on uphill, feels really, really light. Square, kind of squirrely. I don't have a whole lot of off-road on this bike. Only one trip. I did some off-road one time, but there was no weight on it then. Mike's bike's doing really well, but he's got way better suspension. He's got pretty good suspension on his bike. Yours doing all right, Mike? Yeah, I'm doing good. It feels nice. It's pretty planted. I lost the front end in one little section coming down that hill, but other than that, I just kind of powered through it. Yeah, my downhill seems a little better because I'm putting some weight on the front end. My bike, too, all the weight is pretty much at the back of this thing. Oh, we got a little crossing here. Oh, this is that creek he said. Just beyond this is uh, where we'll have a left hand turn. Oh, okay. There's been some pretty rough sections. I didn't film everything, but uh, most of it's pretty good. The first part was just really like a dirt road, like a maintained, and then it turned to not really maintained, it seems like. And you said we had to make a left at the cabin thing? There will be a left to the cabin, yeah, but it's a big, he said it's like an intersection. So we'll just wait at that intersection for him and make sure. That is kind of a no-no sometimes. Guys is crossing, but I noticed it was way smoother on this side. You just kind of got to go and hope you make it. Sometimes the ruts are really good because they're smoother, but... These don't seem to be. This is going to be fun coming out. Yeah. Because we have to come back this way. Supposedly we're close, so. The first camp. Weird as it may sound, sometimes speed is your your friend too. Carry you through things sometimes.
Now without the weight of this bike, with a little better suspension, this wouldn't be too bad. Even Mike's bike probably wouldn't be too bad. He's a little bigger, the bike wise. And it's a little more intimidating than a than your like your little 300, huh? More expensive. Yeah, well, I am a big person, so. Yeah, Mike's a big. Mike's like six five, so. <laughs> on this. On this, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be fine. But Mike's a really good off-road rider, though. So, used to be. so our first day is just with one vehicle, besides the motorcycles. How many? How many guys we pick up tomorrow, Mike? Three. Three more vehicles. Three more vehicles. Yep. I don't know if you guys know anything about the CRF 250s and 300s, but their their suspension is made for like about a 100, 120, maybe 140 pound person. I'm about 100 over that, and there is no adjustment. It's not the greatest suspension, but a great little bike. I mean, kind of a little unicorn of the small dual sporters. It's not really what I'd call a full fledged. It's an inch bike. Here's the Y, I guess, right here, huh? Oh, maybe. And we want to go left, you said? We want to go left. But let's wait for the side to catch up. Alright. Alright, we'll get back to you guys later. Well, we had a really nice campsite last night and uh, got pretty decent sleep. And it'd been kind of a, we're meeting up with the rest of the crew today. One of the guys had problems on the road, unfortunately. And so they're going to be working on that. But hopefully everything will be good and get his parts that he needs. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to do some work on this thing for the suspension. It's just, it's got the back drop so much that the front end's really light on the uphills. There's really no suspension left. Tell you the truth. But fun still. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I think I made it to 20 one time there. It was a pretty good part of the road though. Yeah, the flat. Probably the where you probably where you did flat. 30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where it opened up a little bit and it was flat. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll be waiting a while for Do you want to wait here or just keep going and wait we'll at the bottom? We'll, we'll just wait at the bottom. bottom. Okay, I'll follow you. Oh, okay. Uh, I get neutral. Yeah, strap well, back, you're not too far back. Just a strap, right? No, I'll be there in a second. Alright. I might try a little standing up and see how it does. That might get some more weight on the front. Oh, for sure. I will say this bike's cushy in the rough stuff, though. All right, we got the whole crew now. Got another Jeep, and we got another Tacoma, and 
another jeep. But the other jeep is, yeah, we just fixed it. Hopefully it's going to work. There's some heat to die. Stanislaus National Forest, recreation area, Lake Outline. We're going to buy the lake here in a minute. I'll leave the camera on long enough to show that. So. I'm glad people are going by it. Only corner, looks good. You're still good, Mike. I guess. There's a bird watching there. There's a, down this one of these 90 degree quarters down here, there's a, uh, old Cadillac or something down at the bottom oh. of the ravine. Oh, yeah. He went off. Just so you know, there's some pretty, like, 90, 180 degree corners down here. Okay. So don't get going too fast. I would, you know. I mean, these guys will slow down by the time they get there, but. Right. But the thing is, sometimes you, sometimes, people shouldn't bring motorhomes through here, but sometimes you meet motorhomes. Yeah. You, you got a guy behind us. Yep, I see that. Yeah, remember I told you there was some stuff that reminded me of out here. Yeah. And the boys on the Harleys fly at this thing. Oh, God. Up a little faster, easily. You don't have that down gravity pulling you. There's the bikes. Loaded, ready to go, pretty much. Mike's almost done. Here's the Gladiator. Kind of dark, sorry about that. Thing's really nice. Full lockers, front rear. Got the worn winch in the front. This is an AEV America Expedition Vehicle. So it came basically like the way it's stocked, the way he bought it. And then we get the uh, Tacoma here. Let me go around the other side. Adrian's got this Tacoma. Really nice. Got the uh, tent, rooftop tent on top. Got a bunch of stuff in the back. We get Andrew over here with his new to him for now. What is that? A Cherokee, right? Yeah. Cherokee got the tapui up on top. And then we got this one here. Look at this. Nice four door Jeep. CVT, Cascade vehicle tents on top. There's the boys. Very strong. 
Yeah. Yeah. He needs a good driver. Driver, driver. 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 It's a strange noise, also. Oh, he's got, look, he's got a nice little skid lamp for his hitch. I like that. He's got a little skid, skid plate for his hitch. Might be a good view this direction too though. Oh yeah, yeah. it is. It is actually. Car coming. Car coming. Yep, I see it. Thank you. Now that was good enough. This is cool. This little lake and that little cabin on the lake. That yeah. Those are badass. There's a yeah, lot. Clear. For you people that don't live in California, that when you get up in the Sierra area, there's tons of lakes everywhere. This is cooking its uh, steak yeah. tacos. Look at that stuff. <laughs> Let me get a close up of that. that. That's Use this scottle. If you're if, if you're not a you're not an overlander unless you own a scottle. That's right. You have to have a scottle. You have to have a scottle. Look at that yeah, stuff. It looks good. Skirt steak tacos tonight. Skirt steak. A little the guys, cilantro lime rice. There's that one set up. Here's his. And then there's the Toyota, or the Jeep. Excuse me, the Toyota's over there. And then he has one also, but it's not up yet in the Chevy there. We're going to eat good. We ate good this trip, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did enjoy the video, give me a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, or maybe more uh, ham radio oriented, hit that sub button, the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Thank you for joining me today. I know your time is valuable. 73 all, and hope to get you guys on the airways. And maybe on one of my adventures. We'll see.